What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be going over quantizing audio samples in Studio One. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at quantizing audio inside Studio One, a um, very helpful tool. Real quick, I want to mention bag up at Studio1Tutorials.com, it is five beats, five project templates, five instrumentals that I created from scratch with the intention on placing that I went ahead and I'm selling on the site right now. You get the full MIDI and these are these are full beats. These aren't four bar loops. You get the full um, stems. So no matter if you're in Studio One or any other DAW, you can follow along. You get a free drum kit that comes along with it with over 100 waves and you also get the actual um, project files for studio one three so you could open them up check out my mixing decisions see how i compress or don't compress things if you go to uh, my soundcloud you can actually hear the demo tracks and you know look you know listen to that and compare it to what you see in the session and figure out how to get different sounds um you know if you want to see for example um what what db i put my kick at versus what i put my 808 at and how i get that to sound so good it's all right there so head by studio one tutorials.com pick it up today and just you know keep on advancing with your craft now today um i was just working on a track and um i i i have this that i started working on so um and, and it all goes around this piano sample here So what you'll notice, um, you know, off off the jump is that it's not, it's not a, um, it's not nearly, you know, quantized to the grid. And for you know, for the for trap and um, the type of drums I'm going to put over it, you're going to want that hard quantized feel. Um, and this is a good way to go about getting like a cool um, acoustic, um, actually played sound but still get the, the uh, you know, the obnoxious quantized feel of trap. So first I'm just going to hold down alt and wait until I get that clock um, icon at the bottom that indicates that we're time stretching. I'm going to click and drag to the right and just fix that loop so that we, so that we get a decent loop going. And then the menu that I'm going to use is right here. All right. And this is, this is your audio bend menu and I'm going to go to detection and I'll just go to standard and click analyze. And what that did was that went ahead and created some, um, some, um, bend points inside the audio. Now, what I'm looking to do here is I want to, I'm going to increase the volume on the wave so I could kind of so I could make this more visible what I want to do is I want to make these points because um, these are the transients in the track and I want to quantize them you know kind of drag them over to the left and get them on the beat but first I, it's, I'm noticing right here like I don't want to affect this and and I don't want to affect that so first I'm just going to click on my seven tool and make it so that I could select those and just when you see it change from a um, from a pencil to to that kind of um, that um, that audio band icon and that's going to indicate that you could select a given selection all right so oops made an extra one I'm just going to click on that boom get rid of that all right, so now, and basically the, the method behind that is I, you know, I wanted to make sure that it's just quarter notes. All right, I'm gonna set my grid, I'm gonna set my grid to quarter notes, and when I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go to action, select quantize, okay. 
I'm going to go to sound pro polyphonic for the time stretch algorithm and I'm just going to go ahead select this and click apply and you see how it how it dragged everything back so that it's all snapped perfectly on the grid now when I play it you get this before you had this You can hear how how just off the metronome that is, and you know if you didn't know about this, you might you might just go by this sample and not use it. But by using this quick method, to and you can and you can do this with any audio. You could do this with you know with drums, with pianos. You know it works really good on stuff that's a single instrument, um, especially a time stretch. But you can hear there's no artifacts or you know crazy distortion. This uh this algorithm it, it's it's the same algorithm that uh, Ableton and contact you so it's it's you know world class all right and that's it bro so if you want if you want to do this basically just remember um, highlight everything know that your seven tool will give you your audio bend tool um, think about the note value in which you want to quantize and when you and when you have the uh, detection mode analyze anything delete anything that is outside of that note value otherwise you know those um those bend markers are going to snap you know to either right or left to that closest bend marker and that can really throw off your range your uh your melody or your region so make sure that you know first you know what you want to quantize to and then you know draw draw or have studio one program your bend markers accordingly so this is concrete zebra with craft master productions studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one